Hello all you wonderful Rise of Kingdoms players out there, this is Dragothian here. Today we're going to get back to some videos. Yesterday I had a blast with you guys on my... I guess it's a vlog, right? That's kind of what it was. It was a live vlog where um, I got to share Thanksgiving with you all, my, my Rise of Kingdoms family. Um, fried up the turkey, showed you off Drago de Casa, Casa de Drago, whatever. Um, the house, the car, the family, the wife, all that good stuff. So had a blast with you guys yesterday doing that. If you missed it, it is on the channel. You can go back and review it. Um, but overall, had a, a great time with uh, with you all doing that. And then certainly the turkey afterwards was just tasty. Still working on that today, um, by the way. That's my lunch today. Um, not much left, though. <laughs> so uh, anyway, um, what we're going to do today, we're going to get into the video here. Uh, what I want to do is is basically answer a question that I've been asked since these two came out. Are Lubu and Diao Chan worth it? Uh, should you invest in these commanders? Should you not? And if not, who do you replace them with? So um, let's we're going to go ahead and just jump right into it. Lubu is going to be our first one here. Uh, legendary version of what's come out with these two. Obviously, Diao Chan being the epic flavor. Lubu... Um, unless the the next packs coming out are you know a hundred sculptures each, you're not going to be able to max them using purchased um, bundles. So, uh, with that being said, you're going to have to use universals. And with what I'm seeing, again, I've seen the reports, I've seen live action of him, I've seen him in early kingdoms, I've seen him in late kingdoms, I see him on paper, um, and I just don't see the value using universal sculptures into Lubu. So here's the reason why. Uh, we go to his first skill, and this is basically his best skill. Um, Sky Piercer is his best skill, and it's only good because of the defense reduction. It has nothing to do with the damage. Damage is okay, but not for a legendary. And even when you get it to the expertise flavor, it's a thousand direct damage factor over three targets. Sun Tzu's got that <laughs> with the extra damage factor there. Baybar's got that <laughs> right off the bat. And it's five targets, not three. Epics, by the way. So the damage is not the deal. It's the defense reduction. 50% def defense reduction when expertise and 40 when not. This is it. <laughs> this is his only redeeming quality. The other stuff, the 10 extra bonus damage when attacking cities, again, you get that with Baybars or Osman. Um, Man of Men, this one's okay whenever you pair her, him up with Yao Chan, but again, it's attack. It's not damage. It's not normal attack damage. It's not counterattack damage. It's just attack, the stat. And I think I've already seen 10 reports with people seeing this number and being like, oh my goodness, we got to pair him with Atella. That's not the answer. <laughs> this is not 95% attack. It's great. It's great. It's great. But this is not what causes Attila Takeda to be so devastating, guys. It's not the attack number. It helps. It certainly helps. But it's not the big deal. This is this is the 10% portion of what makes Attila 100%. So very small impact when pairing with Attila. And then the fourth one is basically your standard leadership commander skill. Troop capacity bonus, rallied army capacity bonus. So really the only redeeming quality is his first skill, 40% defense reduction, which you can get with very minimal sculptures. And honestly, by the time the Lubu event cycle is done, you can probably have his first skill max without putting a universal sculpture into him. That's the way I would do it. I would not use him in any other way. The only reason I would get him is because of the defense reduction, and you can use this as part of a swarm during Ark of Osiris. You can use it as part of a swarm when you are trying to um, to drop a an opponent in a murder ball, in a flag, counter dam or counter attack, uh, or counter rally for you know KBK things like that, you can do that. You can do that. But that's it. There's no reason to use him. Better commanders. If you're gonna use universal sculptures to max the guy, I mean basically pick one. <laughs> um, if you want a, an AOE damaging leadership commander, that's better. Mehmed fits the bill. He's got way more damage. He's got a skill damage bonus and an attack bonus. He's got more skill damage. And he's got a troop capacity bonus and rallied army capacity bonus, just like Lu Bu does. And his expertise is amazing as well. So that's basically Lu Bu. 
but better. <laughs> and he does a lot better with what he's supposed to do in the open field. And then certainly, again, when you're attacking cities, Mehmed is very, very, very strong. Other commanders, um, leadership-wise, I mean, even Freddy, which we'll reference Freddy uh, when we start talking about Diao Chan. Uh, I think the only commanders that I wouldn't put Universal Sculptures in versus Lubu would be the Gathering Commanders. I mean, I may even max Charlemagne over Lubu. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. But you get my drift, okay? There's just nothing. There, there's nothing here that's worthwhile. It's just that first skill, 40% defense reduction. Use it for what it's worth. Reducing the defense of a rally against your flag, city, pass, whatever. Um, or again, to def debuff a garrison during Ark of Osiris or something like that, you can throw Lubu in there with a max first skill and be just fine without putting any universals into him. That's Lubu in a nutshell. He's just devastatingly terrible. Now the next one, Dao Chan. A little bit of a different story. Now, why do I say she's okay? Because she doesn't. She also doesn't really have too many redeeming qualities. But you got to remember, almost everybody playing this game, even new players, um, have extra epic sculptures kind of just laying around. And Dao Chan, if you kind of go through the hierarchy of epic commanders, I, like I haven't even maxed Matilda yet because again, she's a gatherer. She's got a couple of redeeming qualities with attack and things like that, but I'm not trying to get, you know, funny with this stuff. I know, I know what damage commanders are and I know what gathering commanders are, right? But Diao Chan. Diao Chan is a strictly damage peacekeeping commander. She's got a pretty decent bonus to, to damage barbarians, which is okay, not great. This is basically um, Boudicca level, right? Your experience here, your damage to barbarians here. You've also got an attack and defense bonus of 10%. That's gener generic all the way across the board. And then you've got this healing factor of 500. And if you're with Lu Bu, which again, dear God, no. Um, it, it's an, an additional 500. Just take the 500 and, and call it a day. Her first skill, though, is, is pretty darn good. 350 per tick for four seconds. So right off the bat, right? You're looking at a 1400 damage factor. Um, epic commander, which is very solid. It's a single target. It's not AOE. Okay. So again, take that for what it is, but 1400 damage factor spread across four seconds is not bad. And when you expertise her, it gets even higher. And now you're talking legendary commander status <laughs> with the exception of Lu Bu, who is what, 600 less than this and a legendary. So, um, 1600 damage factor over four seconds. Dao Chan, I, I basically look at her like a miniature version of Freddy. Could you imagine? And I'll do some testing on this because I've got Max Freddy. Um, <laughs> Freddy primary, Dao Chan second, with uh, leadership and skill being the um, just an open field commanding set. You know, I mean, she's not leadership, so she doesn't have the extra true capacity as well. That would have been kind of a cool thing because she's got what integration, I think. Or something to that effect. Yeah, it's definitely integration, right? Yeah, it's integration. So worst, worst talent, like one of the worst talent uh, trees in the game. But um, you know, Freddy Diao Chan would work. You know, you can do. I think it's three seconds and four seconds of direct damage factor, and it's like four K damage between the two of them. It's not bad, and they both got the heals going on. Healing factor here. Portion of slightly wounded units are healed after using a skill. This is not a percent chance thing. You get it every single time. Every single time to heal plus Freddy. You could even pair up Takeda and have a fast um, Cav March with Takeda Primary. You can even go full support tree on Diao Chan and maybe pick a couple things in integration that makes sense. But, I mean, it's just not going to be that great. You really want Diao Chan to be second. But she's worthwhile. She's actually got some worth here. She does some damage. Um, and she does some heal. So, I mean, she's got survivability. She's got damage. And she's epic. She's really easy to max. It's not too costly. And for an early game player or a mid game player or a late game player that just doesn't spend too much into the game, this may round out one of your marches. Um, and again, certainly early game, she's very good. Very good to have. Now, she's a special commander, right? So she's not on the, the gold key setup, I believe. Um, so unless you started your account now and then you know, are, are getting into the beginning of the game, 
this won't apply if you're starting you know after this event is over because she won't be available but if you have her available in any of those situations and it applies to you she's she's worthwhile she's definitely not bad to have she's got the heal she's got the damage and all that good stuff and again very versatile with the peacekeeping ability i'm going to have her as one of my primaries for sure whenever i'm doing my peacekeeping setup and you know farming barbs and all that stuff um not not a canyon you know not a canyon commander not a you know let's not get crazy with it right but she she fills a role she fills a role lubu does none of those things he has one role and that's to debuff some things which again we have somebody called barka that does that we have you know things like that so that's kind of my breakdown for these two. Should you max her? Absolutely. I'm going to be maxing her as I get her leveled up. I'll just pump some universals into her and get her rolling. I won't be spending money to get the extra packs or whatever unless there's something crazy with the pack itself. And for Lubu, I will just be getting him to 5111 if that. I may not even do the 5111. He may just be sitting there at level 1 skill one <laughs> or level five skill one or whatever he ends up being he's definitely not getting any stars he's not getting any universals um and that's it so that's my breakdown on the two newest ish commanders that are in the game uh, obviously we got the new archer commanders coming very very soon looking forward to bringing those to you as well those look very strong and um, looking forward to using those on the battlefield for you guys as well that being said, I'm going to go and wrap the video up. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And again, for those of you that were celebrating yesterday, happy Thanksgiving to you and your families. I will see you guys next time. Cheers. Have a good one. Take care.